Hey everybody. Well, I got this in the mail today. This little board was uh, $17, including free shipping. Um, now I have a few Amiga computers, and I do have an Indivision ECS in my other one, but they're about $100 a piece. And of course it's internal, so it's going to go in one unit. Um, I've seen this thing around for a while, and again it was $17, and uh, I thought I'd give it a try. And basically, I have it wired to a real Amiga 23 pin to an Amiga uh, 9 pin that would go normally to a 1084S. I didn't destroy the cable. I simply wired the cables, soldered it onto the uh, connector that was already there. And, uh, well, let's see if it works. Well, you can see the computer's on, and I'm using my little uh, ATX power supply and adapter here and if we go over to the Amiga screen look at that it is running in VGA mode right now and um, I don't have the audio hooked up right now because I just basically took this thing out of <coughs> the box let me have my my favorite game or one of them Battle Squadron and let's just see what it happens here And this is an Amiga 500 NTSC Rev 5. And uh, the picture looks pretty darn good to me for 17 bucks. Um, I don't see a problem with it yet. I know some people have an issue, they say, with white dots or some artifacts on the screen. Um, but right now, um, the screen looks rock solid. Uh, I don't see any flickering. I don't see any artifacts, but nothing's moving yet. But that should happen any moment. You see the little floppy drives going? Oh. Well, let's start the game. Let's just get the game going here. Got a little drive going. Again, this is an NTSC. Uh, has a 4 megs fast RAM uh, and 1 meg chip RAM internally in it. And again, the audio is not hooked up. That's why I'm not hearing anything. Here comes the game. We'll do uh, to start the game. So we'll just do uh, I'll press any button to start. So there we go. Again, you can see the picture. Um, there's no wavy lines. There's no artifacts. That's my son screaming. Sorry about that. And the screen looks absolutely perfect. I don't see any problems with artifacts. I don't see any problems with weird lines. Um, I would say the picture is as good as um, the uh, scan doubler from ICD or the uh, the ECS from individual computers. Now, obviously, they do more. They have other modes. This is just deinterlacing it for a VGA screen. But again, if you look at that, that screen looks awesome. Um, I have no problems with the way that looks at all. Uh, it looks awesome. And again, it was $17, uh, free shipping. So, wow. Yeah, I know you probably read a lot of bad reviews of this thing. But uh, I've only used it for a few minutes, but you're looking at it. First time it's powered up. First time it's being used. And that just looks absolutely awesome. Make a little box for it, a little, a little container for it. Um, wow. I hope you guys are seeing it as well as I am here on this video. But the screen is absolutely perfect. Uh, no distortions, no lines. Now this is a new version. This is the version four of this board. Um, but I recommend it right now. Again, I'll do more testing on it, fellas, and I'll let you know. But I can tell you right now, for seventeen dollars, um, deinterlacing your Amiga right off the RGB port. Um, wow. Um, I get P up to date, obviously. But that looks really, really good. All right, guys. Well, you're seeing it here first, just like I am. So I hope this helps you. Um, $17 on eBay. Cannot beat that. 